Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be on how I get my eyebrows on my face. It's super simple, pretty much one product, two brushes. Um, if you have translucent eyebrows like me, you should probably keep watching. I'm going to go ahead and find my whole lid and um, work it into my eyebrows. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Mineral eyeshadow primer, but you can really use any um, any good translucent primer. That way it doesn't leave any kind of weird residue. I know there's primers that are like skin tone. And those are good just but for your lids, not for your eyebrow hairs. And then give it a minute to set. Don't start right away so it's a little dry. Now that my lids and eyebrows are primed. I'm just going to go in with my trusty old eyebrow powder and that is from Milani and this I this was like the first eyebrow powder powder I use and it's just been my favorite. There are some more um I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is pretty inexpensive and affordable. I was going to say more affordable. Elf has some a, a good light eyebrow powder. I had it, I don't know where it's at, so I can't really show it to you, but they have like duos where it's um like a waxy material and then the eyebrow powder, but this is what it looks like, the Milani one, and this one is in 01 Light, and if this is your first time filling your eyebrows in, I highly, highly, highly suggest only using this middle shade right here. Um, start with that. It's for me right now, it's super light. When I first started, I, I did my whole eyebrow in just that light shade and it was just fine. Now I really like my eyebrows a lot darker because I'm more comfortable with having my eyebrows drawn on. So I personally go into the dark shade first and then sometimes I do the front of them with the light shade. Sometimes I just feather out the dark shade. You need an eyebrow powder. And then I like to use two different brushes, but I can definitely do it with just the one. This one is a MAC brush, but the reason I really like it is because it's super thin and I can draw the shape of my eyebrow in pretty darn good. And the other one I like to use, like I said, not all the time, most of the time, sometime, whatever, is this Sonia Kashuk brush. And it's a lot fluffier. Um, it's a lot chubbier and it's good for packing on the color and sometimes I use it to just blend the shit out of the front. So I take my eyeshadow brush and I don't go directly into it. I kind of just go into it side from the side and I coat like each side of the bristles. And let me tell you, this just takes some getting used to honestly. It's just if you practice you can definitely get it down. So I don't take super long. If I'm just going out and about, like I really don't care. It takes me less than 10 minutes. 10 minutes sounds like a long time, but it's not. Um, <laughs> I know it's hard to see on camera. I know you can see like these hairs, I think, but the rest, it's like translucent. My eyebrows are translucent. So if you can relate, thumbs up this video. So I really just outline the end of my eyebrow first, the end. And see it looks super dark, but I like that. And this brush gives you the ability to really just draw on, draw the tail on however you like. And I like, I changed my shape up, but today I want a little bit more of, a, of an art. See, I'm not necessarily rushing, I'm just taking my time, making that. I go a little bit above where the hair, where I leave the hair, because I trim my eyebrows up. You want to have nicely trimmed eyebrows. One of the pros to having super light translucent eyebrows is you can go a lot longer without having to do your eyebrows, which is great, and it's amazing for lazy people like me, but it does affect the way the product goes on so usually when my eyebrows are a lot bushier I have to like pack on that powder a lot more. I do that and then 
I typically just, once I get the shape that I want down, I'll move on to my other one and try to get the same shape going. It usually works out. And of course, one eyebrow is always going to be a lot more pleasant than the other. Usually the shape on this one turns out a lot better. Of course, my eyebrows are completely two different shapes there. For the most part, they look pretty even to me, I think. So the next thing I do is literally just trace out the, trace it out to the front, all the way to the front. I'm trying to make this as crisp as possible because if I'm just trying to hurry, I don't want to have to go in with my con with concealer or my foundation, but I usually will because I like my eyebrows pretty crisp looking. Mm. On the top of your eyebrow, you don't want to use too much powder, too much product. So I usually just try to go out and trace the end again, and then bring it up. As you can see, I have the shape down for the most part. It's down. So now I'm going in with the fluffy brush, and I'm going to pack that shit on. It's easier with the fluffy brush because with the thinner brush I have to go in a lot more times. So as you can see I just packed it on the end. I'm not worried about the tail too much right now. But I just literally go in with this brush and just the residue powder that is on and feather it in to the front. Like so. Now this is, you know, it's my way of doing it. You don't have to do it like this. I'm just giving you options. It's the easier thing to do. Like that. And then next, the other brow. So at first I like to bring it to the bottom and kind of flick it up. And then, and then work it out. And I can see right now, right away, that they are not the same so I'm just gonna go back in with this skinny brush and do my best to make them cooperate. So you see how it got fuzzy right here in this little corner where I don't have as much hair as I do over here I'm going to fix that with my foundation. And also, this eyebrow is a lot shorter than this one, so I have to go in and kind of like fill that area in. So it's no big deal, but then make sure you're looking at yourself straight. Now, honestly, if this is your first time like trying to get into filling out your eyebrows, I suggest doing it on a day where you're not going to go anywhere. So go in with a light color, a light shade, fill your eyebrows in and literally just take pictures of yourself, look in the mirror every time you walk by it, get used to it because if you're not used to having your eyebrows drawn on, you're, you're going to feel like you just put Sharpie marker for eyebrows. That's, that's how I felt and that's why for the longest time I didn't do my eyebrows. But eyebrows really frame your face. They really help out if you have an eyeshadow look going it just really completes a look I think so that's my opinion I'm just gonna go in and clean them up I make sure I go in with a nice little domed um, synthetic concealer brush and do that I will say though if you're gonna clean your eyebrows up at all if you're gonna do it with concealer do the concealer first then do your foundation next because it helps it blend a lot better. For a more natural look just use your your regular foundation. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now because it 
you can go in with the brush like this to get more product to darken up the tail if you want. So I'll just take the, the light shade with my fluffier one and then go in the front. But since I kind of used the dark shade for that, I don't need to do that, but I'm just showing you. I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on. Here are my eyebrows done um, with the rest of my makeup. And as you can see, it's much better having eyebrows. <laughs> Hopefully this was helpful and you got something out of it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, I'm also going to have a video up on how I do use the brow pomade stuff as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye guys.